I'm Jared Delcamp from the University of Mississippi Chemistry Department, and we have recently invented a technology that can take sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide and transform it into a fuel. This particular technology is called a sequential series multijunction disensitized solar cell. It's a long name that effectively says that we can take solar cell devices that can be made affordably and put them in a series to generate enough energy that we can split water and use the protons from it to drive carbon dioxide reduction to make a fuel. These devices work by sunlight coming in and striking a surface within a solar cell. This surface holds an organic dye, and this dye is responsible for absorbing sunlight and then moving electrons through the system. The electrons can then pass into a semiconductor like titanium dioxide in this case, which is a cheap, affordable, benign material that can then move these electrons out of the solar cell and into an electrode. This electrode is going to be responsible for taking things like CO2 and converting it to CO and water. The electrons that are being taken and used for this conversion must be retrieved from a different chemical reaction. And this is happening at an opposite electrode on the other side of the cell. And at this electrode, we're taking water and removing electrons from it to generate O2 and H+. And then the net result of this is we're using water and the sunlight and CO2 to make a fuel. So effectively what we've done is we've created an artificial photosynthesis process where the plant will take CO2 and it will take water and it'll take sunlight and it converts it to a plant fuel. In our case, we've just repurposed this. We've taken CO2 and sunlight the same way with water, exactly like plants are already doing all around this planet. And we're actually repurposing the fuel we're getting out to be something humanity needs, something we can burn in say cars and planes. So this research is just an example and a very exciting one of ways that people at the University of Mississippi and also within our region are working together to solve very important problems that can have a tremendously positive impact on our society. Mm -hmm.